Yeah. And I don't know, they'll probably be doing donuts on the farm and dodging pigs. Most likely. What's up guys? This is going to be our last video with Peyton and Casey together on our bike build. So, yeah. how are you thinking? How are you feeling? Well, we didn't meet our goals and... We had reasons. There were reasons. Well, there we, we didn't meet our initial goal or our second goal. Neither of our bikes run. Hey, but they both look really pretty right now. They look amazing and that's all that matters. Okay. Really First of all, mine will run, we think. Yeah. And yours will run? We think. Yes. Yeah. And we were going to go to Mid-Ohio. Yep, we were. We didn't. We didn't do that. We no. were filming. We were. And learning cool stuff. Yeah. And taking a big shot. Taking a huge shot. Honestly. None of these people care about that. No, no, because we still They wouldn't care about bikes. We didn't do what we were supposed to do. <laughs> no, we didn't do. We didn't have time. But we're going to. So, oh, yeah. we'll end up making new videos, or at least I'm going to with this. And we're going to force Peyton to make a video in Vermont of his when it's done. Yeah. And, I don't know, they'll probably be doing donuts on the farm and dodging pigs. Most likely. Mm -hmm. the, the, I think I'll just flat track it on the farm with pigs around. So tell everybody about your bike. Let's see your aesthetic here. Get off right. the bike. Yeah. So, visually, my bike is done, actually. I, I might put, like, a vinyl sticker on the side pods, but um, other than that, the bike is visually completely done. And, in theory, it's also mechanically ready to run. Yes. However, you change the oil and everything, right? Oh yeah, new oil, um, gas is in the tank, everything is ready to go, except, oh, yeah. except, the battery go go juice doesn't make anything go blinkity blink or sparky spark. Pretty much, yeah. I hooked up the battery and nothing happened. So electricals, and while we would love to dig into electricals, I have to leave Tuesday. Right. So you're done. Yeah. So I'm just gonna trailer at home and, and figure that out. I figure it out at home. I got a buddy who's built a couple bikes and he's gonna help me out. And you gotta go back to school. Yeah, well it's definitely gonna run or it's gonna run before I go to school. Good better. Do you know how much crap your dad's gonna give you if this thing doesn't run? Well yeah, he'll just take it. That's he wants good. the bike anyway. That's not good. So he's just gonna be like, Yep, this is, this is Don't mine. take this bike, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, it, it'll run. It'll work. I have okay. so much faith. Okay. It what looks good. Mean? I like the way the engine looks in there. I like the blue tank. And I like the warmth of the seat and the wheels. And the wheels, yeah. The seat and the wheels go really well together. You think um, I'm riding again? I think I'd be right, yeah. I'm, I'm not that worried. Wait, about did it. you get mufflers for this thing yet? No. Are you going to put mufflers on it? No. Oh, God. Shut up. You, you have straight pipes with megaphones. Listen. You put trumpet ends on your, on your straight pipes. You leave me alone with my just normal old right, straight Right, let's talk about my bike. Yeah, let's talk about your bike. What do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you walk the people through it like I do? I got the clutch wide open here. It's going to spin because, you know, your jeans. tuck in your shoelaces and don't be a sissy. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. No, it's pretty good. I got to polish out the side here. I got a little bit of, um, I don't know, crap on paint when I did it. Actually, a little bit of run. So, I wet sand the side. I got to polish it out. Um, I have to put the battery box back in, clean the carbs, and put the wiring back in. And also, in theory, like Peyton, it will hopefully run. I say that because I've never actually heard this bike run because I bought it laid down for like 700 bucks. Yeah. So, you know, fingers crossed and all. Um, I do have to finish the uh, bleeding the clutch and front brake master cylinder. I think the seals are kind of cruddy, so they weren't bleeding very well. But it's going really well. You guys can see the details, but we really wanted to take this opportunity just to show you and make a quick video of our bikes together so you can see the aesthetics. Um, it's been fun, man. It's been awesome, yeah. And like aesthetically, both of us are pretty well done. I mean, you have a little yeah. polishing to do. And Is this the style you were hoping for? Do you think it reflects your taste? You know, I had an idea going into it when I first bought it of what I wanted to do, and it was completely different from this. Uh, but I think this is the best I could have possibly done. Yeah. In the budget and in the time frame. Yes. Um, if I had decided to go and hardtail it and make a bobber like I wanted to, it would be less done. So, yeah. Well, it would not ride as nice either. So, you basically compromised um, what you initially were thinking that was pretty extreme yeah. to make something that's going to be a better bike. Yeah. And I went psycho and took it way too far to do exactly what I wanted to do. And you made a 
brand new Triumph Thruxton R, but with a Ducati engine. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm kidding. It looks just like a Thruxton Ducati by calling it a Triumph. No offense to Triumph, because I like Triumph. It looks just like a Thruxton R, though. That Thruxton R is looking like everything from the 70s. Oh, it's a sexy bike. I'm not lying. But did you hear what he said there? <laughs> Ladies, pay attention. This is this is how the sneak up on you. <laughs> they won't even realize it's coming. All right, so what did you learn that you can share with all the young people out there that are maybe thinking of building or modifying a bike? Besides the fact that going into filmmaking kind of limits your ability to do actual mechanical work, um, I learned quite a lot, honestly. Um, I had never really painted anything that had to be nice, so kind of, uh, with your help, kind of getting the tank and the frame and, and, and the engine painted and looking pretty decent um, was cool. But then, we would say you really want to take your time yeah. and be smart and methodical about it. Yeah. Because you did all this with rattle can stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like this is dupla color lacquer that you can buy yeah. at any auto parts store with the proper primer and stuff. Four and row blue. Yeah. Just take your time and it, and you can do a nice job too. Preparation is okay. nice. What else? Yeah. Um, you know. How about budgets? Budgets quickly go out the window. Uh, is is what I've. Found and I mean I didn't go crazy crazy over budget. But so yeah, hundred dollars to get the motorcycle. Right, and, and I wanted tax and, title. and I wanted to build the whole motorcycle for six hundred dollars. And if if the carburetors were just ready to go, right, I would have done exactly. You would have done that, but they weren't. Carburetors were not ready to go, and apparently for some reason unknown to me, these carburetors are like just completely unattainable. So everything is. Cost your first well, you had to get new boots that were like basically didn't take maples to the engine. Yeah, and so and I spent global and floats. Yeah, and I spent about four hundred dollars just on the carburetors. Yeah. So one word of advice I would say from having a lot of bikes and building in the past that Peyton learned: when you're building a bike, just because it's cheap doesn't mean you should start there. Sometimes you could spend a little bit more money or double your money. Like if you could have bought a bike that's running. Even if yeah. it looks ugly, running and like goes down the road half decent, comes back for say five hundred dollars. Yeah, would you rather than that? Yeah, well, if I could have bought the same bike for five hundred dollars and it runs already, that would have been a lot easier because right. I could have focused just on visual and, and structural right. modification. And you're not spending all this time fiddling going back and forth with the engine and the electrical. So it's kind of like choose your basis. For me on the Takai, this made a lot of sense. My biggest gamble was, you know, is the engine okay? I think it probably is. So. Um, should be good. Uh, lots and lots of work, guys. This really has to be a labor of love. And if you're going to take the time and money to build a custom bike, make sure you do what you want to do, but you think it through so you're going to make a nice riding bike that will also be something somebody else wants. So if you sell it one day, you uh, get your maximum return. For sure. Right? Yeah. But um, definitely a labor of love and make sure that what you're going to do is realistic with your facilities, resources, skills, etc. too. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, there's no harm in getting a bike that already runs, looks decent, that you can just kind of modify to personalize too. You don't have to go crazy like that. For sure, yeah. Uh, we definitely, I mean, you especially took it to an extreme that... Well, I've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> I want to get experimental. Yeah, I get that. Plus, I'm broke and I have really expensive taste, so I wanted my expensive taste, but I can't buy them, so I had to build it. Yeah. So, anywho, but that's about it, guys. So next time it will be each of us doing ours. It has to run in the next video. Yeah, yeah. I'll shoot a time. video from home in Vermont of it uh, looking around the farm. Totally. I'll make an epic riding video like River Road or something, guys. It'll be a lot of fun. But thanks for hanging around. Hope to share some kind words with Peyton and him. He's going to be leaving Genius Garage here in the next couple days, going back home to Vermont. So. I'll miss you, buddy. Miss you and too. Um, we'll get some other videos. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed it. And please like, comment, and subscribe.